what is going on guys Cali J here now today I've got a slightly different video for everyone this is going to be aimed at the settings on Daisy and this is quite a requested video so I did want to go over some stuff in a little bit of detail just to give you an idea of everything if you didn't know already I do apologize guys I've got a little bit of a cold but um, nonetheless let's get straight into it so the general settings on the game now we have got some cool things here we've got the field of view now field of view is going to optimize your vision it's going to definitely give you that upper hand when looking at tall buildings or left to right etc so you want to make sure that that's maxed out your hood these are all preferences i'm slowly leaning towards working on no hood but i do enjoy it and it does help you in a lot of situations so it's definitely worth having game messages admin messages they're just like preference if you don't want those popping up then you don't have to but so next we're going to go to an audio tab so we're on the audio tab now volumes they are important music not necessarily so you can get rid of that that's just preference again but uh, you want all your effects and your master volumes up high because you don't want to be missing out on any important sounds or anything like that at the bottom voice this is all preference again so you just go and have a play with that, whatever you prefer to play like. Once we go over to the videos tab, if you have a little look at V-Sync, it took me a while to figure out what this was, but it's actually to do with frame rates when you're moving, I believe. So I keep it enabled so I can actually optimize my videos when I'm recording, etc. And it doesn't lock onto a certain FPS and it stays at 60. Now I do believe that's what it is, but forgive me if I'm wrong, do correct me. Now general controls, mouse and keyboard, I do not play on mouse and keyboard so I cannot help you with this one but I'm sure that if you were to find someone that does they might have a better video. Now when it comes to aim assist, aim assist is only for AI, aim assist doesn't work on players so zombies etc it just gives you the upper hand really when just dealing with zombies it's not too much of an edge you know it's not, it's not really noticeable to be fair but yeah so if we're coming down to the sensitivity the main juice really is the bottom box the aiming vertical aiming horizontal and aiming curvature now these are your these are your go-to's really when it comes to gunfights and aiming because this is what's going to give you stability of your weapon etc so when you're aiming side to side or left to uh, up and down side to side sorry and you're obviously shooting away, it, the gun is absolutely ridiculous to try and control us, I'm sure you, most of you are aware, so keeping this at a low does help you out loads, it just, it just really helps you out man, trying to control that, and not over steering, not over shooting when you're trying to take sniping shots etc, now the curvature, the curvatures, it's quite an interesting one the curvature, I've had a good play around with this, now the curvature, it's it's all to do with the joystick on the right, I believe. So how quick you can you can basically line up a shot. Now it does work well, so I recommend having it on a preference setting. Now the quicker doesn't necessarily mean the better, but the quicker is just experience. If you can handle it, fucking crack on, and you're gonna do great. If you are just trying to improve in general, just don't overdo it, don't overthink it, and definitely experiment with all these new settings and stuff, because it can just greatly improve your gameplay. Now the final bit is the actual control button layout, and I actually kept mine original settings. I know a lot of people did prefer the new settings, but um, I'm, I don't know, I guess you can call it stuck in my ways almost, but I've actually found that the old settings all just really work well for me, so I'm just keeping it at that and I'm just flicking through these now just to show you all what everything is laid out as and yeah, that pretty much sums up this video. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.